Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children. I'm in Lisbon for Pegs Europe. It's day one and I'm delighted to join my good friend Malik Haddad, who's at Nuclera and he's going to tell us all about Nuclera and what they're doing this week at Pegs Europe. So Malik, first of all, it's lovely to see you my friend. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very well. It's a long time since I had a chance to chat to you. Saw you a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but I mean properly about it. Now, first question, how has Pegs Europe gone so far? It's been great to be here, to be honest. Uh, lots of good conversations. Have had a good time presenting our poster, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Meeting some old friends and old colleagues as well from my previous role, so it's been good. Fantastic. Now, for people not familiar with Nuclera, can you tell me who you are and what you actually do? Yeah, so a little bit about Nuclera. So we are at Cambridge UK and Cambridge Boston in the US as well, based company. Um, I think we're a bit unique because what we're doing is unifying software, hardware, and biological engineering principles to make proteins more accessible to scientific researchers. Fantastic. Now, specifically this week, what are you showcasing to visitors and delegates? Yeah, there's a couple things. So what we do here at Nuclera is we are combining two core technologies on what we call this um, e-protein discovery system. Yep. So if you've ever seen like an Amazon Kindle or an e-reader, we use what's called digital microfluidics to essentially manipulate nanoliter droplets of uh, expression reagents for protein production on this 2D surface here. Right. So it's exactly the same principles as an e-reader. So using uh, electromagnetic waves essentially to move all of these droplets. Right. And then we have our own core proprietary reagents for cell-free protein expression that's based on an E. coli lysate. So essentially how it looks, if you look at this screen right here, yeah. You can see all of these nanoliter droplets being manipulated. That's 196 expression uh, experiments going on simultaneously at the same time. And then the top expressors on that chip will be automatically down selected. 30 of them will be down selected and purified in the cartridge as well. So in parallel, in 24 hours, you're having over 200 experiments uh, to check for protein production uh, yield. And then uh, you can just scale up easily in a tube about this big, milliliter volumes, right. to get protein in hand from DNA to purified, active, usable protein in 48 hours. That's fantastic. Now, you said you're offering something unique in terms of the combination of solutions that you're offering. So, are you saying there's no other companies offering what you're doing at the moment? There are no other companies that can unify these principles like Nuclera. These are proprietary reagents, proprietary cartridge uh, materials, everything is unique. Fantastic. Unless you have a giant liquid handler and you know how to do crazy coding, very difficult to replicate this. Right, okay. <laughs> now, um, I know you guys have a talk and you mentioned the poster earlier on. Yes. So what, what is the talk on and when is it? Yeah, so the talk, if you come by our we're booth 346, um, you can grab one of these. It talks a little bit about what time our talk is tomorrow, uh, but it'll be from 120 to 150, November 15th. That's tomorrow and Wednesday. So we partnered and we're working with uh, VIB. It's an institute out of Belgium. Um, and they were some of our early adopters in academia. And they were working with a protein that they just could not produce in E. coli because it would essentially kill the E. coli, the cells. Uh, but using our proprietary technology, we're able to produce this, uh, this protein for them, and they're actually publishing it uh, as we speak. Fantastic. So he's going to talk a little bit about that story. Great. Now, you mentioned the poster. Now, with the Wonders Technology viewers, we're going to go and teleport over and have a look at that poster. Bear with us one second. So there you go, viewers. By magic, we're it's now magic. by poster number 91. So, Malik, tell me more about the poster. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, essentially, there's a lot going on on this poster, but if you come by uh, number 91 here, we, I, I'm happy to walk you through it. But essentially what we've done is, um, similar to what the talk will be tomorrow, there's a protein called uh, VEGF, so it's associated with cancer and cancer progression. Yep. Um, very difficult protein to make, very popular for pharmaceutical companies. A lot of them are trying to produce this protein. Um, and essentially what this poster is talking about is our system where, if you look here in the middle, uh, it goes through the experimental steps for uh, producing this protein using our system. So three easy steps. You design your DNA, order your DNA, you prep your DNA. This is linear DNA, so no cloning involved, folks. You load it into the system. It takes about an hour to load, maybe two, to load into the system. Similar to the video we showed you earlier, all of these experiments, expression and purification experiments, will be going on in parallel. And then uh, the last step is to essentially take the data that you get from the system telling you the ideal way to get VEGF 
yep. and we scale it up in the tube. And you can come and you can look at some of our expression results here, and then as well as some of the functional assays that we've done to actually prove that the protein, uh, the VEGF, does what we expect it to do. Fantastic. Well, that's brilliant, Bradley. Um, well, there you go, viewers. If you're here at PEGS Europe in Lisbon, come and talk to Malik and his team. Come and visit their booth at... 346. I'm glad you remember that, Malik. And number and, 91. <laughs> yeah, the poster. Um, and obviously, if you can't make it, though, you can follow them on LinkedIn. You can follow their website. The link is above the video, so you can check that out as well. So, Malik, genuinely, it's good to see you, my friend. I hope you have a great time in Lisbon. Always love seeing show. you. Uh, and viewers, if you're in Lisbon, please check out uh, the booth here for Nuclearer. Talk to Malik and the team. If you can't, as I said, follow them on LinkedIn and go to the website. So, Malik, once again, thank you for your time. Viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>